This is a common mistake I see people making when they purchase large appliances uh, in regards to getting the electrical installed for it. Today's tip of the day is about uh, large electrical appliances. Uh, now, I see a common uh, problem that a lot of consumers and homeowners make uh, when they are purchasing or trying to install uh, new large uh, appliances, such as uh, electric uh, ranges and electric dryers, primarily. The short of the long of it is that you cannot just take out a regular outlet and simply put in a 30 or 50 amp outlet for a large appliance that does not work. Uh, now, the, here's the mistake that people make. A lot of times they come in and they just want to buy a uh, cord end, like a pigtail that you attach to the appliance in order to plug it into the wall. Uh, they, they purchase that or they get that or it comes with the appliance and they try to put it, you know, they want to plug it in and they can't do it. So their first thought is uh, they want to buy an adapter. Now there is no such thing as an adapter uh, that converts your household 120 volt 15 amp uh, receptacle into what is usually like a 30 amp two pole uh, plug. It doesn't work that way, electricity doesn't work that way so you won't find it. Large appliances like uh, electric ovens and electric dryers, they take a specific dedicated circuit for that appliance. And uh, the second thing that they want to do is they just want to purchase a new device. <clears throat> and uh, many times I've talked through uh, consumers uh, on this specific issue and they don't realize that uh, the mistake that they're making when they initially purchase the uh, electric appliance. Uh, and the reason is, is you cannot take out a regular 15 amp duplex receptacle, which is this standard receptacle that you see in your house every day. It's in your house, it's in your office, in your garage. Um, you can't take that out and simply put in a larger 30 amp or a 50 amp two pole breaker so that it can accommodate the plug that's on your appliance. Uh, electricity does not work that way. Uh, and while many people probably do do that, uh, they quickly find out the reason why it's going to trip a breaker, the appliance is not going to work. Uh, so is what needs to happen is when you purchase a large uh, appliance and you choose to make it electric as opposed to gas, keep in mind uh, that this takes a specific dedicated circuit from your electrical panel. In other words, you have to have a specific breaker. Uh, if it's a 30 amp appliance, you have to have a two pole 30 amp breaker uh, that goes from the panel with uh, 30 amp wire, which is 10 gauge wire, uh, three conductor or four conductor going all the way to a brand new separate receptacle in the wall with the proper receptacle and plug for the appliance. So that's about it, not to overcomplicate it, but uh, that's just to let you know that when you buy large uh, electric appliances, it does take a specific dedicated circuit and you can't just use the regular regular household plugs or you can't even convert them actually so that's it and that means that your large appliance must have a special outlet specific wire for that outlet and a specific type of breaker 